first time we're hearing from leaders of Shaw University about a traffic stop involving a bus full of students. The bus was pulled over and searched in Spartanburg County, South Carolina on October 5th. Anthony Wilson joins us live from the Shaw campus with more. Anthony. Well, John and Anna, the authorities who spoke here today did not take any questions. They cited the need to keep their opinions to themselves for now because they've asked for an investigation by the Federal Department of Justice. That said, here's what we saw and heard. First, the student government's president shared the discomfort felt by other students as South Carolina law officers stopped the bus on October the 5th. Then Shaw University President Dr. Paulette Dillard mentioned concern about the reasons given by authorities for that traffic stop. She said nothing was illegal, illegal was found that day and there is a need to protect every individual civil rights in situations like that stop. Now, last month, the Spartanburg County Sheriff said the bus was pulled over for swerving, and he said when asked about searching the bus, the driver consented. But today, Attorney Dan Blue III said Shaw University is asking the U.S. Department of Justice to review what happened and investigate what happened when authorities stopped and searched that bus. Shaw has objected to the use of an alleged lane violation as a pretext for a drug search on an interstate highway. There's no objective evidence at this point of a lane violation, but very quickly the incident moves from being an encounter over a traffic stop to a drug investigation with a canine that entered into the compartment, searched, alerted on a bag. The officer picked up that bag, opened that bag, found donuts, and then proceeded to open three additional bags. Again, they took no questions during that press conference. We will let you know how the DOJ responds and what happens next in what is now a legal challenge to that stop in South Carolina. John and Anna.